Okay guys, what you're seeing here, this tall tan grass is broom sage. And it grows all through the fields and wastelands, ditches, farmland, any place you've got big open areas. Now of course, this is cut every couple of years for hay. And whenever this goes dormant, this broom sage comes back. I can get you a better close-up and see exactly what we're talking about. It's a tall, wispy-type grass, and this grows in the end of summer up through the fall, and by winter, it's just big old groups of it. Now, broom sage has got a lot of uses. We'll talk about them in just a second. Stay with me. Okay, guys. Broom sage is a very useful plant, especially in our self-reliant woodsman type environment. Now, I've gathered up a bunch of it, and it gathers very easily. Just take a handful, take a knife, and saw off the bottom. It cuts off easily. They're hollow grass-like fibers, which means this makes great insulation in the winter. And I'm camping in the winter, and I'm having to sleep on a ground bed. If at all possible, I find a bunch of this. And make my bed out of it. It's a big, long, easily filled, and you alternate between the tops facing one way and the other, so you don't end up with the sharp stems on one way and the fluffy stuff kind of soft. Inter interlock them, da 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 da, and you make up a nice big soft bed. This stuff is called broom sage because they made brooms out of it, and how they did that was they took a center staff that was pretty good size. And then to the side of it, they hooked two additional staff. Now, these are natural curve limbs that would curve out. They would either wire it or nail it or lash it. Or in my great uncle's cow barn was one that had rawhide that had been sewed while it was wet and allowed to draw it blood tight. Then across the bottom down here, they put a couple of crossbars. And then the sage is laid up there and sewn, woven to that, forming a broom. The old classic witch's broom, this stuff with a stick in the middle of it and bound up. It's also good for filtering water. Um, I like it to take it a thing like that, make a pretty good little pad of it, put it across a canteen cup and pour my water straight out of the creek through it if possible. It's usually fairly clean. It doesn't hold sand or dirt well. It's normally found in grassland areas so that it's not, um, you know, susceptible to uh, other forms of uh, dirt or silt getting on it. So it does a good job filtering it. Pretty good job, anyway. Now, with uh, its very light hollow fibers, a really good insulation. Whoop, hold on, camera's slipping. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. With its hollow insulation, it lofts up very well and makes really good insulation for beds, anything you need to sit on. Now, if you're going to be, it's cold winter, and you're going to have to be sitting on the ground on a ground blind or something like that in you know, deer hunting, this stuff is great to put underneath you to insulate you from the ground. It's also very handy to throw up a quick blind right in front of you. The classic haystock like you used to see in the drawings and stuff of Europe, same idea you can make out of this. It's hay, basically, but uh, broom sage can also be used for um, scrubbing and things like that. And that's what I'm going to show you next. I'm going to take some cord, and I'm going to reset up, and I'm going to show you how to make something that will make the wife happy. And this will make the wife happy. Sorry, guys. Sometimes um, knowing the skill of how to bind this up can be used in multiple ways. For example... This past fall, my wife was making up a Halloween witch doll and needed a little bitty broom. I went out, cut some sage, cut a stick, carved it right quick, bundled it up, wired it up, and handed it to her. Perfect little size witch broom. She loved it. Next thing you know, everybody in there that had a kitchen witch or something wanted a witch broom. And so I went to making these little brooms and giving them away. All you're going to do is you're going to bind this up tight. Now, let me reset, and I'll show you how we're going to do this. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Okay. Now, 
I'm going to filter some water. I've taken my sage and I bundled it up and made my pot scrubber. This pot scrubber also makes a pretty good water filter. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then this is not sterilizing anything, it's just simply filtering it. I'm taking the water and I'm going to start it trickling down through the middle of it. Making sure I stay in the middle of it. Bigger is better. And let it go around the outside. Now, if I want to do this even bigger, I would do it like this. And I would take one about, you know, make one about that big around, pour it into the center of it, and let my water filter down through the center of it. Now, the loose end is the one you want to pour the water into, not the hard finished end. Pour the water into it. Up through it. Now, if it's wide enough, you're not going to spill and run down the side. Just pour it in the middle of it like this and let it pour through the center. Making sure you don't pour around it. But what you're going to do there is you're going to, it's a lousy can to do this with, you're going to filter the water through all this sage and get rid of a lot of turpidity and stuff like that. That water is a good deal clearer than what I'm pouring out of the can. Now, Let's go use the other use for this a bit. And then my broom sage that I was just using to filter the water, this is a pot scrubber. So broom sage can be used for a bedding material, fire starting, baskets, you can weave with it, big, bulky, low pressure stuff. not going to make a rope out of it, but you can make other things out of it. You can use it to filter water. You can use it to make a pot scrubber. You can make it to make a broom. Let me grab the other thing and I'll show you the broom. One broom. Now if I made up like six of these and lined them up, like I mentioned on a handle with a couple of limbs coming off the side all lashed together, I would have a broom. So this can be used for fire starting, it can be used for filtering, it can be used for bedding, it can be used for weaving, it can be used for countless ideas. Broom sage, the woodsman's friend. Now, that's had time to warm up a bit. We're going to take this rough end, finished end. We're going to use the rough end. like that. Hands clear. All I gotta do now, wipe it out, dry it, add a little oil to it, and put it back in the pack. I'm good to go. So, broom sage. Everywhere down here in the south, and I'm pretty sure in other parts of the country. It's a waste grass. Most people don't care if you cut it. It makes great insulation. I'm sure you've probably got a hundred uses I never thought of with this. I can remember these being woven into baskets, like laundry baskets, when I was a child. I remember seeing these made into planters. I remember these being woven into mats. Now, another use for this is, you see how this sticks up? you probably never heard of this. You may have, but it was a Boy Scout loom, what I called it. They drove three poles in the ground, or maybe four, I'll call it four, spaced out about that far apart, about waist high, and about eight feet apart. They tied a line real hard from one to the other, pulled really tight. Then up here on these three, they put a crossbar. In between those four, they put another line, tied that crossbar, made it longer, and they tied it to a pole. One, two, three. So you had four stationary lines and the three moving lines and you've made a woods loom 
Now, you took a pile of grass like this, you lifted it up, so you made a V, you stuck the grass in it, you pulled down real tight on it, they put the V in that way, you lift it up on it, and you ended up doing like this, stacking up, down, up, down, stacks of these, and you made thick mats for sleeping on. Dog mats is what I remember them being called. I'm sure it's an old Indian craft that was passed down through my family. We didn't have a use for it for bedding anymore, but we probably still used it for dogs and other things. But we made mats out of them. You can make rugs. You can make anything. When you're making your wiki up, that's a good way to make these. And when they get kind of ticky or whatever, throw them on the fire. Make another one. They're quick and easy. Broom sage is a very useful piece of gear. Hope this gives you some ideas, guys. I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft. Wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.